Hey guys, my name is Dylan Link. I'm an engineer for Vance County Fire Department. Next to me you'll see engine one. Um, this is our first out engine out of the main station here behind me. This is my seat. Um, obviously you've got your steering controls. It's got a blinker, headlights, just like any other vehicle on the road. It's also got a computer next to my steering wheel that shows me um, a top view of my truck, which doors are open, which doors are closed, which lights are on, which are off. Um, it's really cool. I can access uh, my generator from there. I can cut anything on, on this truck right here from the front seat. Um, I've got access to the siren, to the heating and air. I've got access to my uh, auxiliary brakes, garage door. Really anything that I need is, is accessible right here from the front seat. In the back seat, this is where I keep my turnout gear. Um, I've got turnout gear issued to me just like any other firefighter or officer that's going to ride in this truck. It just stays in the back seat. My primary job is to drive and pump the truck. These are our, we call them speed lays or cross lays used to plug in right here from a hydrant and it can feed me water. This five truck holds a thousand gallons of water. But I, if I need more, I can plug it in right here and I can easily get water from a fire hydrant or I can plug it into another fire truck and use their water to bring it into my truck. Um, down here we've got our traffic cones, we've got flashlights, we have a sawzall, we have drills, spare batteries and such. These are collapsible traffic cones. Generally, a traffic cone is set about three feet tall. This can be smashed down about an inch. It saves on space. Um, they're easy to deploy. They're lightweight. Over here, we have another air pack. We have a flathead shovel, ground head shovel, some more basic items that you would see uh, in a hardware store. We've got push brooms, um, flathead axes. We have big head axes, bolt cutters, things that are right here at our fingertips that we can use if we may need them. Um, they easily pull out for quick access. Um, right here is what we call a hydrant bag, just like I was telling you over there, as far as getting water from a fire hydrant. This has all of your connections and valves and such right here. Um, this is everything we need. We have a hydrant wrench. This is what you use to actually turn the fire hydrant on with or off with. Uh, we have a gate valve that's right here that ensures quick access to the water once you've got the fire hydrant on. Um, a low level strainer here. This is used for getting water out of a drop tank or a swimming pool. Um, back here we have our rescue tools. We've got cutter and a spreader is what we call them around here. Uh, you may hear them referred to as Jaws of Life in movies or TV shows or whatnot. Uh, we carry these on the truck to ensure that we're able to gain access to the patient in the event of a bad accident that we can cut off the door, cut off the roof, cut through a pillar, or whatever we need to do to make sure that we gain access to the patient. Here we've got our ladders. Um, right here we've got what we call a rip pack. Um, this right here is used in the, in the event that a firefighter goes down inside of a fire. We've got everything in here to ensure that that firefighter gets out with air. Right here are our chainsaws. We have saws for many different purposes. Right here, we have a set of irons. This is the same halogen that I showed you on the other side of the truck. This one just has a flathead axe attached to it. It is used to get inside of residential commercial doors. Electric fan, of course, plug it into the board reel on the other side of the truck. And it's used to eliminate smoke in a building. Just like on the other side of the truck, this is the exact same thing, just a different color. 200 feet of inch and three quarter attack line with a low pressure 75 psi fog nozzle. Right here you see a discharge 
an intake and an intake. This is just like the one I was telling you about on the other side of the truck. This one's on this side of the truck. You never know which side of the street a house fire is gonna be on and you wanna make sure that you can reach it from either side. This is a discharge. It's the exact opposite of an intake. Instead of bringing water into the truck, you're sending water out of the truck. Right behind me is where the firefighter sits at in the back of the truck. You may see in some fire engines, the firefighter sits backwards, depending on the layout of the engine. This is where the officer sits at. This is usually who's in charge. He's gonna sit on uh, this side of the truck in the front seat, right next to me. He's got access to the MDT or the computer that's sitting right next to him. It's got access to maps, hydrant locations, um, prior incidents that have uh, occurred at that location. We can pretty much see anything that we want to see there. It's also got access to the internet. Uh, we've got access to pull up hazmat incidences, um, ERGs or emergency response guidebook. It's on there, it's online. We've also got a hard copy in the truck. Um, this is his office area. He's got access to the radio, the sirens, uh, anything that he may need to get to, he's got to right here at his fingertips. Right here in the front of the truck, we've got a hundred foot of inch and a half line. The smallest line that we carry on this fire engine. Um, fog nozzle, of course, it's a hundred foot long. So, like I was saying earlier, we can get anywhere we need to. At the front of the truck, the sides of the truck, over here, we've got different options for different scenes. You never know where you're going to be at and how I need to position the truck. So we make sure that we can try to reach them no matter what. So up here is the second part of my office. Um, part one of my job is getting me and my crew to the scene, wherever we're called to. And part two of my job is up here on top of the truck, ensuring that water is going where it needs to go. Um, up here, you'll see a lot of different gauges with different numbers on them. This is how I ensure that water is coming into my truck and out of my truck adequately. Um, I can draw water in, I can, I can send water out. I've also got access to the generator to make sure that all of these lights uh, face where they need to go. I've got four scene lights right here, as well as lights on the side of the truck that I can control on the back and the front to ensure that lights go in whatever direction they need to go. Um, it's as simple as just that right there. Once the truck is on, I face them in the direction they need to go to. And at nighttime, it is a huge help ensuring that we can see on scene. That's Vance County Engine 1. Thank you.